now that you're able to connect microphones and instruments to your Scala, we're going to show you how to record them using Logic. In this tutorial, I'm joined by the fantastic Grace George, who's going to be performing a section of one of her tracks for us to record. We're going to record Grace's performance in one take, capturing vocals and electroacoustic guitar. We'll be using the Scarlet Studio CM25 microphone to capture the vocals, and we'll be plugging Grace's electroacoustic guitar directly into the Scarlet to capture that as well. In this tutorial, we're using the Scarlet 2i2, but these steps will work with whatever Scarlet you have because we're just using the first two inputs. And you don't have to use the exact combination of microphones and instruments that we're using in this tutorial. You can use the information in the previous video to connect the microphones or instruments that you want to record. Using an XLR cable, connect the microphone to input one of the Scarlet and then turn on phantom power to ensure that this condenser microphone gets the power required to work. Next, connect the electroacoustic guitar to input two of the Scarlet. Then set this input to instrument mode as we demonstrated in the previous video. For the Scarlet Solo and 2i2, this can be done by pressing the button on the front panel so that inst lights up. And for the 4i4, 8i6, 18i8 and 18i20, open Focusrite control, go to inputs and switch input 2 from line to inst mode. Now play through your performance and adjust the gain dials to set the recording levels. Ensure that the gain halos are lighting up green, not yellow or red, as we explained in the previous video. If you're using a Scarlett Solo or a 2i2, then ensure that direct monitoring is turned on by pressing the direct monitor button once. If you're using a 4i4, 8i6, 18i8 or 18i20, then this will already be set up by default. Turn up the volume for your headphones until you can hear the microphones and instruments that you have plugged in. If you have speakers connected to your Scarlett, please use the monitor dial to turn down your speakers while recording in order to avoid feedback. On the Scarlett Solo, the monitor dial controls the speakers and the headphones, and we still want to use the headphones, so you'll need to turn off your speakers to record. Now open Logic and let's set up so that we're ready to record. When you see this pop up, select audio and next to number of tracks, enter two and then select create. In a previous video, we showed you how to set your Scarlett as the audio input and output device in Logic. This tells Logic that the Scarlett is the device that we want to use for audio input and output. Go to Logic Pro X, Preferences and Audio. Select Devices and ensure that your Scala is selected as the audio input and output device. Let's rename these tracks to keep the project organized. We want to rename track one to vocals and we want to rename track two to guitar. If you'd like to, you can right click on this blue waveform and select a different track icon. These are the two audio tracks that we're going to be recording onto, and we need to set these to be mono and tell each of these mono audio tracks where they'll be receiving audio from. Click on the vocals track and on the left hand side here, you'll see either a single or a double circle. Single tells us that this audio track is mono and a double circle tells us that the audio track is stereo. We want mono audio tracks to record onto. You can toggle between mono and stereo by clicking on the circle or circles. You'll remember that we plugged the microphone into input one on the Scarlett and the guitar into input two on the Scarlett. Select the vocals track, click here and select input, input one. Then select the guitar track, click here, select input and input two. The 
final thing to do before we record is to record arm these two tracks. Click on both of these R's until they're both solid red and flashing like so. You're now ready to record. Press the record button up in the top bar here to start recording and you can hit spacebar to stop recording once you're finished. Just look at what you could have had as I'm walking away. Here comes the realization that you, you made a mistake. And when you see me, if you don't know what to do, just remember, baby, I'm better than you. And there we go. You can now record microphones and instruments into Logic using your Scala. I'm gonna show you how to do a basic mix of your recording. Press the Enter key on your keyboard to return to the start of the project. You can control the volume of each of the recordings by clicking and dragging the volume fader for that track. To reset any of the controls to their default setting, Hold down the Option or Alt key and click on the control like volume to reset it. You can also add effects to the recordings that you've just captured. I'm gonna show you how to put some reverb on the vocals. Click on Audio Effects, go to Reverb, Space Designer, Mono. You can now see the reverb plugin that you've just loaded onto this vocal track. You can select presets up here, like ambience, for example. Your presets may look different to mine depending on the version of Logic that you're using. Then the only control that you need to use in here is the wet fader. Bringing this fader up will apply more reverb to the vocals, and bringing it down will apply less reverb to the vocals. You can adjust this to your liking. You can then close this reverb plugin by clicking on the cross in the corner. And if you want to open the plugin again to make some adjustments, then you can click on it just here. You can also experiment with adding more effects from these menus like delay, EQ, and more. You can now progress on from this video and we'd love to know whether you're up and running with your new Scala. If you are, that's great, but if you still require some assistance, then we can direct you towards our support team.